Derek back from Distributed DBA. MySQL offers a lot of options and settings to tune the behavior of MySQL, and InnoDB adds a few more on top of that. In general, though, I don't believe that you should tune a lot of the settings until you're in a position to need to. So today, let's simplify the tuning of InnoDB. Although there are many settings in MySQL and InnoDB to tune, there aren't that many that will give you a good return on investment for tuning before you know the workload of your environment. And actually, tuning those settings in advance can lead to headache in the future as you try to figure out what's going on with your system. So, in general, I would say don't tune a whole lot of things. Starting in MySQL 8.0, there is a setting that was introduced for trying to auto-tune some of the NODB settings if you're running MySQL on a dedicated instance. And if you're not running MySQL on a dedicated instance, you can still tune these settings yourself once you know what they do. So let's go ahead and go over them. The first variable is NODB buffer pool size. In MySQL, the simple math is the more memory, the better. So if the only storage engine you run is NODB, give as much memory as you can to NODB. The reason for this is that NODB has to pull all the data needed to respond to queries into the buffer pool for processing. The bigger the buffer pool, the less reading from disk NODB needs to do. Though if your working data set doesn't fill the buffer pool, you won't get as much benefit from the memory. If you run into that situation and you don't expect data growth, you may have over-provisioned the server. Next, we have the settings that affect NODB redo logging. Redo logging is NODB's method to guarantee changes are persisted even through crashes of MySQL. The auto-tune settings affect the size of the redo log. If the amount of data changes is too much for the redo log to handle, NODB will throttle write performance. To avoid that potential performance throttling, give the redo log a lot of space. Keep in mind, though, that the more space provided, the longer crash recovery can take as those changes are processed. I'd still recommend giving more space to the redo log and taking the hit on crash recovery time if that becomes necessary. And the final setting affected by the auto-tune in MySQL 8.0 is the NODB flush method setting. This setting affects how NODB writes the redo log and data files. Basically, it attempts to avoid expensive f-sync operations if possible. This is an optimization for write performance, but it could have significant data loss consequences depending on the setup of your system. This option requires a restart, so getting it right from the beginning is important. Pay attention, though, to the warnings in the documentation, and make sure your system is configured to safely support this option. As we saw, there are only a handful of NODB variables that need to be tuned from the outset, either because of the expected performance gain from doing so, or from removing potential bottlenecks in the future, or simply just to avoid the impactful restart needed to change this once it's in production. So you'll do well to focus on these variables initially, and then monitor the behavior of your database over time, and only make the necessary changes to other settings based off of your workload.